What's good with y'all guys? So listen, man, what it really means, all right? What it really means when she's seeing your message and she didn't reply, she didn't respond. She's seeing your DM, it says open, no response. She didn't hit you up, right? Left you on red, all these situations. Guys, this is something that at least every single man has dealt with at least once, right? At least once. So we're gonna really break this down because uh, it's been a lot of sugarcoating around this topic, right? I think a, a, a big benefit of the doubt has been given to these girls and it's like, nah, that's not what it is. I'm gonna give you the real deal, the real spill because I'm not here to sugarcoat it, right? I'm here to tell you the real stuff, right? I'm your red pill pharmacist. I'm not gonna play games with you. All right, with that said, y'all, before we hop in, it is y'all follow me on IG, check the links in the description box, turn on notifications, bro. Let's go, man. Guys, I need you to put first off in the comment section, if this has happened to you, go ahead and give a brief explanation of, of what happened and how you responded, all right? Because I'm gonna tell you guys what you should be thinking, right? Because this is what really happens, guys. What it is, is straight up disrespect. It's flat out disrespect. It's not nothing to get angry about, right? It's nothing to have no, no road rage about, you feel me? Peep this. If you're talking to a chick that you see consistently, let's say she's at the gym. I was literally talking to a guy and this chick did this to him, but he sees her every day, right? It's not like this is a random person, right? Guys, you know, girls will do that, you know, as a, as a, as a uh, safety net for themselves, right? They give a guy a num their, their number just because, oh, here's my number, blah, blah, blah. They ain't gonna hit you back, right? They have no interest in you at all. But like, let's say you actually see this chick all the time, right? Like maybe at the store, at the gym, whatever the case is, this guy had the same situation. You know what she told him? You know what she told him? She said she's really hot and cold. She really hot and cold. So, so apparently she's an oxymoron. She's a walking oxymoron, which really is what women are. But, you know, a walking contradiction. You you hot and cold. What kind of excuse is that? You know, back in the day, a chick told me one time, oh, I'm a bad texter. Well, I'm bad at believing bullshit. So uh, what, what does that mean? You feel me? What does that mean? Guys, if you see this girl consistently and she does this to you, it is literally flat out disrespect. It's flat out disrespect because this is the same chick that'll sit here. She'll she'll ignore your message, right? See you the next time. Smile and act brand new like nothing happened. Like she ain't just ignore your message. Like she ain't seen it. It says open. It says red or whatever the case. Females always have their phone on them. There's no way that she just didn't see it. I'm a bad texter. I'm hot and cold. Like, come on, y'all. Let, let's stop the bull. We, we stop. We're going to stop the cap right now. All right, guys, here's what the deal is. You should not, you cannot tolerate this stuff because I'm seeing guys out here and it's past benefit of the doubt. They out here like, oh, you know, well, she's probably busy, which she might have been busy with another dude or busy preoccupied with something. Still, she still could have hit you up. She still could have responded. It takes this. Females are the best texters, the fastest texters. They are constantly on their phone. There is no excuse for that, guys. They ain't busy like that. They got their phone damn near gorilla glued to their head all the time, right? So, so where's the excuse lie? The real reason is she did not have enough interest to take that action to respond. It's still disrespect, but breaking it down, guys, it's not enough interest. Now, when it's been girls, now, now think about, okay, that's one situation where guys thinking about times where a girl has literally hit you up, where a girl has blown you up. The interest was there, right? She had high attraction. She wanted to see you. She wanted to, she wanted you to come through, right? A girl to sit here and quadruple text. I just had a girl quadruple text me last night. I want you to come through. I was just doing my own thing. I was in the shower. Boom, boom, boom. Back to back to back to back. Where you at? How long? Come through. They will do it when they have the interest, the attraction to want you to come through. So it's just like we're responding to a text. If her interest is high enough, she gonna respond. If her interest is high enough, she gonna text you first. You don't gotta be the first one to text all the time, right? You don't have to be playing this waiting game. But guys, you, you, some of y'all will sit here, right? And let a girl disrespect, blatantly disrespect you blatantly disrespect you by ignoring your text that you sent out to the girl. You got to think about it like this, fellas. Think about it like this. Your time is valuable. 
right? And I'm assuming that if you watch my channel, right, you on your you on your grind, right? You on your mission. You're a valuable man, right? You either working towards high value or you, you just you're valuable in general, right? Even your mindset is valuable. So you would be a you would be a blessing in this girl life if she even got a chance to be with you. So when you shoot out a message, right, you you extend that olive branch out there, and she is like, nah, I'm good. You got to think of it as, well, you missed out, right? She missed out. She missed out, bro. It's not you. Because some of y'all is out here like, oh, well, I guess I'm not good enough, Dan. I didn't meet her standards. Her, She's she's on a higher level. That, no, bro, it ain't none of that stuff. Because guys will be sitting there thinking like that, and then they see the girl the next time, she'll smile in his face, he'll smile back, and give her the same kind of attention, same kind of validation. See, you need to cut that out, bro. Cut it out. These girls are leading you. Like, some of y'all just wrapped around your finger. You don't even know it. You sitting here like, oh, she ignore my messages all the time. But I still talk to her in person. And, and we just, and I got her lunch last week. And this week, I think we're going to go and get tacos. It's like, come on, bro. She disrespecting you, bro. You do not tolerate the disrespect. Like, guys, a girl, did you, uh, imagine a person you see all the time. And they blatantly ignore your text, like, like, and you actually was trying to get out with the person, get up with the person or something. That's what y'all communicated. But when you try to call that, I guess they bluffing, right? I guess they was bluffing. You called their bluff, I guess, right? Because, I mean, they, they ain't trying to link up with you, did they? Like they said they was in person. So what you going to do, bro? What do you take that as? It's disrespect, bro. And guys, you got to be at a point where it's like, you know... You gotta stop allowing it. Like the only like if this has consistently happened to anybody, it's you just gotta stop allowing it. You gotta stop allowing it. The shift has to happen in person, right? Because if you see the girl in person, she's on a chatterbox, but when you try to text her, she just ignoring you flat out. Like the disrespect is present, so you need to apply that pressure in real life. Like you, okay, it was disrespect. No, it really was, right? Accept that. Accept the fact that it was disrespect and you pull your attention away. You pull your time away from her in real life. Do not sit here and be a little sheep, right? A little beta male orbiter around her every time she wants some attention or somebody to talk to about her feelings or how her day was. Stop that stuff, bro. You got to stop that stuff. You got to stop. She don't respect your time. She don't respect that text that you sent. She didn't reply to it because you don't even respect yourself. You send it out there, you didn't even have no confidence when you send it out there probably, right? You send it out there, the energy was like, huh, I don't wanna say nothing risky. I don't wanna say this, I hope I, I hope it's okay if I say, see you was going back and forth before you even sent the message, probably like an hour. Spell checking and correcting it, making sure everything sounded good, it flowed good, did I put a comment here? Before you even sent the text off. And she didn't even respond. Guys, you see how much time you put in it? It's just about cutting it off. You don't got to put that much effort into it. You just don't accept. You don't tolerate no bull. You cannot tolerate bull. When you start presenting yourself this way, oh, girls are going, I'm not going to waste this time. Guys, you don't want to waste your time. When you respect your time, they're not going to waste your time. And as simple as, okay, well, she don't respond. I'm done. I'm not going to talk to you in person. I'm not going to, it's just, it's just, you're done. It's you're done. You want to tolerate that hot and cold. You want to believe her when she says she a bad texter. Don't believe none of that bull. It's it's all garbage. It's all garbage. Oh, I'm hot and cold. So when I feel like that, would you even want to be with a chick that is hot and cold? So you just, depending on the, the sunset or, or the phase of the moon is when you decide to text somebody. Like, come on, bro. Do you even want to be out with a chick like that? You know how flaky a chick like that would be. Right. Do you even realize how inconsistent somebody like that is in their own life? Like that doesn't even make sense, bro. She's beneath you. She's obviously beneath you, bro. Like, come on, bro. Don't waste your time, dog. Do not waste your time. You know what I'm saying? Just had a consultation with the dude. And I'm like, bro, it's, it's really amazing to me how men will sit here and just continue to, to just try and try and try when clearly this chick has disrespected you by not replying and she's seen it. Like guys, some of y'all will come up with excuses in your head. Like, oh, well, maybe she uh, read it and, but, but then she forgot about it. It's like, no, bro, stop. You're making excuses 
for a person who doesn't respect you. You're making excuses for a person that blatantly disrespected you. You know what I'm saying, guys? We got to kill that kind of energy. You guys really got to, you got to really value yourself. You got to really value your time. If a girl, that's all she gets, right? It ain't no, see, some of y'all is playing baseball out here. Three strikes, you're out. No, one of them things, you got one of them things. You send it out, she ain't respond, boom, that's it. That's it. Be done with it, bro. Be done with it. You don't got to sit here and try to figure out, well, what's the next message I'm going to send? Now you double texting, bro. Now you're double texting. There's nothing worse than now, now you really fiending for it. Now you really chasing now. Now you've entered the realm of chasing. Now you really is setting yourself up to be disrespected even more. Guys, I do not want to see it anymore. I'm tired of it, bro. She done disrespected you, bro. Respect your time. Take your power back, bro. She don't deserve you, dog. If she reads it, doesn't respond to you, left you on scene or whatever the case is, she does not deserve you, bro. All right, plain and simple. Mm -hmm.